are you pulling a gun on me? I'm not afraid of you. Just calm down, all right? You think you can take me? I'm Santa Claus. Ah! Oh! Great. I just beat up Santa Claus. Ho, ho, holy crap, folks. It's Sam and Todd's Christmas special. Uh, we're going to call this one Presents of Christmas Past. I dug out a bunch of old uh, gifts that I've gotten over the years, and we're just going to look at some of the uh, joys that I uh, opened on Christmas Day when I was a kid and growing up through my 20s, and now I'm 34. And uh, I thought we'd mainly do video game stuff, but I found a couple other unique things if I have time, which I probably won't because I always run long, uh, we'd uh, show, but... The first one I, I remember and know is this video game right here. Um, it's the game, I'm trying to get the light, Major League uh, Baseball for the Nintendo. I have the instructions. Uh, I know I still, I had the box for this. What I'm thinking is, I remember when I was a kid, I sold a bunch of games in a garage sale. And two of these that I got for Christmas, is, I sold in the garage sale, I know. And I sold them in box but I don't think I sold it I don't think I put the directions with them so these directions are my original directions from my Christmas this game is not the original game but this was the first game my grandparents ever bought me for my Nintendo uh, for Christmas and it's not a bad baseball game uh, it always makes me think of my Nintendo and that first Christmas video game that I got um, I mean, I got some Atari games and some other stuff over the years, some little handhelds and stuff, but it's always mainly been the Nintendo and stuff like that that I really think about. And um, that'll lead us into the second game. Now, for some reason, this game I don't have the directions for, but I remember getting this for Christmas, and it was probably a, the next year or whatever, maybe two years. I picked up uh, Bad Dudes. I don't know if you can see it. But you know what Bad Dudes looks like. Um, I think I mainly sold this because it wasn't two player simul, it was two player like switch turns. And um, it just kind of sucked. Double Dragon 2 was way better. So I sold it, but this was another Christmas. I do remember opening this and being like, wow. Uh, and I couldn't wait to play it until I got home and realized, I mean, I had read in Nintendo Power that it wasn't two-player simul, but I didn't believe it until I got home. Um, those are the only two games that I recall that I it got for Christmas gifts. Um, eh, Nintendo, I'm thinking... I, I, I told some I told some of y'all a while back I think in one of my videos I got a lot more things for my birthday and for birthday presents as far as stuff like this goes than I ever did for uh, Christmas stuff. Christmas was usually like you know clothes and more utilitarian stuff and uh, you know shoes especially when you get older and you get in high school and there's fashion involved and shit you want that. Nike you know air pump Reeboks or you know Nike air pump. And, uh, you remember the Reebok Pump? Those were cool. I never had a pair. I had Nike Air, uh, the not Jordans. I wanted the black Jordans, um, when they first came out. But my buddy had a pair of Reebok Pumps, and we, uh, swapped shoes. I, I know you shouldn't. You can get foot fungus and all sorts of shit. But we traded shoes for about, I don't know, a month. Because <laughs> I, I really dug the pump. But, uh, Okay, we're moving on to the next system. Uh, the next system would be my Super Nintendo. I got a couple games for Christmases with this system, and um, the first one I do remember was the Christmas after I bought it when I would have been eight, 18 years old. And that game my aunt and uncle bought for me because I was living with them at the time, and it is uh, Beavis and Butthead for the Super Nintendo. And Beavis and Butthead was really big at that time. And this game is fun. Uh, it's not as... I like the um, the Genesis one more because you're... I don't know. It feels more like... 
feels more like you're hunting for the pieces of the ticket to get to the Guar concert. This felt like you were just going through levels. The other one felt like you were kind of playing through kind of a story or something. So it felt more fun to me. But, but this one, I, it is complete in box and it is a made in Japan version. Um, I don't know about the other versions. I've just heard that there were some that were made in Mexico and different stuff. I, I, I don't know. And then uh, the next one I got, uh, this would be, it might be the following year, but it might have been two. I'm thinking it, it was the following year, though. Uh, I had moved out from my aunt and uncles, and I had moved in with my buddy, uh, and it was kind of my first uh, Christmas living with him. And, uh, the, the game he ended up buying me was Super Star Wars, and this is the, um, the player's choice million seller, but... You, you know, the only thing different about these was it had the gold seal million seller and a little gold band on the box. I didn't think it was too gaudy or too uh, noticeable. It is complete, and it's in pretty good shape. I never really tore them up. Instruction book looks new. And, uh... Covered fiber. Da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't know where this one's made. I really don't care either. Made in Japan. Set it on the side. Sorry, folks. So we got uh, Super Star Wars, and that was awesome. I remember he got me a, a couple of statuettes. If you go back to one of my. Uh, Bids. Um, it was, I think, the short side of gamer had tagged me. It's that tag video. You see a little bit of my office. You'll see a couple statuettes, Star Wars, uh, Luke and Darth Vader, and they're like pewter looking. Those were a limited edition, five thousand each. And his mom and him both went in and bought one of each of them and gave it to me. I don't know what I did to deserve it, but they hooked me up that year. Okay, the next two I'm gonna roll. Uh, were games that I picked up for myself, kind of with Christmas money, kind of like, um, kind of like I did with Lost in the previous episode. And uh, the first one would be Metal Gear Solid 2. I remember picking this up for Christmas and playing it through the holidays and, and beating it shortly thereafter. I enjoyed it when I played through it, and I haven't played through it in forever. I don't really remember. And then the next game here, uh, you may remember or may have played it, um, when Lord of the Rings was really hot, uh, they had put out, you know, Two Towers, the video game, and they didn't do a, a video game for the first movie, but this was the first game they released that was movie related, and um, I went and bought it, and it's actually a really good game. Um, if you dug the movies, you'll dig this. And finally, I think... Two years ago, my, my mom and sister went in together, and uh, I had asked for this, but I really didn't expect them to get it, and they picked up uh, Resident Evil 4 for me, and I love them both for doing it, but I still am only halfway through it and never beat it. I kept starting over to save ammo or get different guns or whatever. And um, finally, uh, the last thing I'm going to show is something a little unique. I remember my grandparents sent me some money, and I picked this up. It is the, the whole box set of the Star Wars music from the original trilogy. There's four CDs in here and a book of artwork and a bunch of other stuff. This was 50 bucks. It was really cool. So I just wanted to tell everybody, uh, I wish everybody a happy holiday. I hope you uh, are down for a little peace on earth, goodwill toward men, and I hope that uh, you get everything you want for Christmas and uh, come back and see me uh, after it's all said and done. So. Uh, I'm going to sign off. I'll talk to you all later, and I'm glad uh, you're here. So, thanks. Bye. <laughs>